Alright, we are live. shall be first in the room. Jerry, what's happening, y'all? What's up, Teresa? Clear. Crystal, Liz, Karen, Morgan. Virginia. What's happening, y'all? How are you guys doing this evening on this fine, fine Thursday? You guys looking forward to the weekend? Every day it is, always. I hate to say it, but we literally forget what day it is half the time. We don't even know if it's Saturday or Tuesday. <laughs> We're just being lazy today. This will be a short video. trying to stay cool for is it hot over there thank you for smashing the like appreciate it more glitter <laughs> you guys are in lockdown you're in Australia 85 muggy it's normally about 85 degrees at 7 o'clock in the morning here. So it's pretty nice, especially over on the lake. We normally go ride bikes over there, me and my friends. Are you going tomorrow? I doubt it. I need to get a spacer for my sprocket. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to bend something or break something. Because there's, a, there's a, a, a creek in it, and I don't, I, don't, I don't want that to mess something up. 109. Yeah, we were just in Vegas last week and it was so hot. Like a different hot. Like, like it just, just it, it, it felt like you're memorial. just sitting up in an oven. Like just and the air blows and it's hot air. Like you literally you'd rather have your mask on. No, it's not humid. 79. Nice. Betty received her kit today. Awesome, awesome. All right, so we're just going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the mermaid from yesterday and the uh, the coasters. So uh, let's just jump right into that. What do you got? What do you guys think about that? Show you some glitter glitter coasters and mermaid. just literally said it. I don't... Why does it do that? Why does it go back? Like, it's so bright the camera is almost like blowing out. I normally have the overhead light on, but uh, it gives such a glare. So I'm going to use my camera phone or my camera flashlight like look how blingy this stuff is y'all like it blows out the camera like we have never seen any glitter like this people are asking you know is there 
a cheap glitter, a good glitter, and yes, there's there's definitely cheap glitter. I this is this is almost more than a Swarovski crystal. Like it is insane. Like that clear coat works really well with that. And here's my ocean pour with the glitter. You see, you can see the blue, the hologram, or the, uh, what is it, not hologram. Chameleon. Chameleon. This is number 10. That's so rad. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, it's like the uh, this stuff is really chunky, but then it also has like really, really fine. So it really lights up. Look at that. It's like way too bright for the camera. That is Winter Wonderland. That's what's in the front right there. Like, I am super stoked about that. And this... This is the Dragon Touch. Like, you definitely have to... I'm trying to show you. You could see the little points. Because it's pretty chunky. This is like metal. Um, you definitely have to put a uh, flood coat over this coaster. So you definitely would want to sell these for probably $8 for a coaster, seven, if you put a flood coat over them. Did the regular glitter lay flat? I feel like um, it did. It, yeah. You guys, I wonder if you can see that in my face. Let's see. Look at that. Never have I seen glitter do that. Have you ever? It's like a disco ball. What? Babe, look at me. Uh. What? <laughs> Holy cow. So Y'all, that is amazing. That was the... I'm so like, I can't even you. see. Like, that's so bright. Uh, yeah, clear. They are. They're available on, on our website. Man, you could literally make a disco ball out of this. How about we try to make a disco ball? We can. We can get one of those round foam Just things. a foam ball, like from Michael's. And just a roll it in glitter. Yeah. Or we could attach it to a tumbler spinner. No, nah, what, what, what you would do is just spray it, just spray it with that adhesive. gnarly adhesive and just get a bag of that glitter, put it in the bag and just shake the bag. Like those shake and bake things? Yeah, shake and bake. Pretty amazing, right, y'all? I mean, I don't like that. I don't like to have that over there. I like to be reading What's up, Shane? No, not disco again. <laughs> so I got my cutter yesterday. Disco duck. I know how to make the disco duck sound. Shake and bake. Do you do chameleon first, then add color bling or color obsession bling have light shift? What now? Uh, Teresa's asking, uh, Teresa, are you asking about the chameleon? Glitter? glitter is chameleon. We yeah, didn't one, add powder to we it. didn't add anything to it. This is the, like, 
if you'll be able to see, I'll try to put this on. I thought I would. So we'll have one angle here, close. And then, so you can see there's a blue and then teal. Look at that. How crazy is that, y'all? See, that's the good thing about having cameras set up like this. You can give people a really good look at it. I just don't understand how they do that. It's amazing. And there's there's about two or three different sizes of glitter in here. It's not all chunky. There are some smaller ones, but not like that fine powder that the uh, that the Winter Wonderland has in it. Take my money. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are interested in these, we have them on our website. I'm sure they'll go quick. We just got three boxes of just resin in. Ooh, can't wait to look at that. There should be new colors and chameleons in those boxes. We'll have them on the website tomorrow. Yeah, we'll probably do an unboxing of that tomorrow. And I'm going to put a true color video from my phone on uh, the uh, poor people's group. If you guys are new to the channel, um, first of all, I am Jeff Thornton. I either go by Jeff or Thornton. Um, and then Eric is over there. We're from Dallas, Texas. We have a website, artistholdeath.com, with all this stuff for sale. We sell, we sell literally all of this stuff. We sell um, the cutouts, the mermaid cutouts. I love this mermaid cutout because it can go any way you want it to. Like, she could be diving down, you know? Like, this would be great for, like, do, like, two or three of them in your bathroom. That would be so much fun. Or she can just be cruising through the ocean. Or she could be going up. Like, it's pretty amazing. We have this in cutout like this uh, on uh, LDF. Or we have it as a cradle board, which is thicker. It's about an inch thick you guys like those um, we have like 10 different shapes on our website um, and now we just got all this new glitter um, there's other colors I just didn't get a chance to uh, to check them out um, but this stuff looks pretty amazing as well um, this this is like party glitter right here this is pretty chunky um, there's another one, just all the colors. That's fun. That's a little snowy. These two look like they're gonna be super. This is really fine. I wonder if this is the hologram. Or no, the chameleon. Turquoise sees chameleon. Well, this one says chameleon on it. The other one doesn't. It just says number 10, but I think it is the same. Yeah, you can tell this really fine stuff. How crazy is that? Pretty cool. This stuff looks fun. And there's a lot in here. 50 gram, 10 gram, 10 gram. Man, that's a lot. But it's crazy how much glitter you don't use. Like when you're making something and you put glitter on it, like whenever we do the lip pieces, I cannot wait to see this on a lip piece. That is gonna be amazing. Heather says, not a big glitter junkie. Hmm. Sometimes, you know, a little bit of glitter, it's all right. A lot of glitter. Some people are like, mm, too, too much. <laughs> but yeah, I understand. I wasn't a, a big glitter fan um, just because of the term glitter. 
you know, it's always been associated with crafty. like crafty and girly and whatever. But man, nowadays it's what are you gonna do? Like it's it's the thing, man. It makes stuff just sparkle. Like it enhances stuff. Never enough glitter. All right, I think that's it, y'all. I told you it was going to be a short video. Ask them which one's their favorite. Which one is your favorite? They were probably all going to pick uh, the same one I picked. So, this is what we used on this, on these pieces here. Dragon Touch. It's spelled T O O C H. Oh, tooth. It is tooth. That looks like a, a C. It's tooth, y'all. Like, I have my contacts in, and that looks like a C. <laughs> It's a T. I told you I don't spell. And I do not. <laughs> uh, oh, Heather, I believe me, I, I've, uh, I've done a couple of his, his uh, paintings back in the day when I first started airbrushing. Louis and uh, Frank uh, Frazetta and Soriyama. All those old timey, old back in the day, the 70s artists. I love all that work. I used to have so many of those cards. Man, yeah, Julie. God, I forgot about Julie. Wow. Um, Olivia. I actually talk to Olivia every now and again on uh, Facebook. Ugh, so jealous. I have a, a picture of her with a painting I did that she signed. Now, I remember Julie. Yeah, Olivia's still killing it, man. She's like, she's putting out so much work and I really regret not getting in on her, her, uh, her, calendar deal her sale what was that for she had an auction to raise money for herself to, like obviously you to to, uh, to sell some stuff but you would get like two prints signed some postcards um, like four calendars signed a puzzle and some stickers and a pin for like 150 bucks why didn't I pull the trigger on that? She'll have another one. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do a lot of those paintings. I used to do a lot of Olivia paintings when I first started airbrushing. Like big pieces. I would do her, her painting, but put like my spin on it or my background or add stuff to it. I used to sell a painting for like a hundred dollars and it was like 30, 30 by 24 <laughs> at a comic book store. This guy would, would put them up for me and, and I'd give him like $10 or $20 to sell one. <laughs> That's when I first started selling my artwork. And then I got into uh, transparent colors. That really like... Like it, my artwork went from pretty much overnight from, oh man, that's really cool or that's neat, you know, to, uh, I did a piece in all, all transparent colors and I had it up at this art supply store I was working at and this woman was looking at it and, she, and I was like, are you all right? Are, is everything okay? She's like, I can't stop looking at this painting. Like it is blowing my mind and I'm like, what? Like, and that just shows you from transparent 
are from opaque colors to transparent, how much real, how the detail, how, you know, it's, it's amazing. What's up, Clara? Without kids. Jerry, get some rest. Do some artwork. So, I've got to clear this stuff off in back of me here so I can put together my cutter. I got a US cutter, 28 inch vinyl cutter. So you guys can have some stickers and some stencils. We're gonna be putting stencils out um, for y'all to use on your artwork like for like, uh, for like, you know, if you want to do a mermaid or if you want to do like um, a shark silhouette, you know how they have shark silhouettes in like ocean pores or, um, you know, starfish or something like that. Like, and uh, so I think we're gonna start making stuff like that for y'all to buy. I love how art can mean so much more to somebody else. Yeah, it's crazy, Paula. Like you don't like the like some of the stuff that we hate. Like we're like we'll we'll just take it to fill some space. You know, if we go do like a little art fair here, like if we when we do uh, Deep Elm Art Festival, and you, you think mm, I'm just gonna put this up. Hopefully, you know, we'll just put a good cheap price on it. And it'll be the first thing to sell. Not because it's cheap, but because somebody liked it. Julie, excuse me, Julie Bell, that's it. Um, and I always tell people this. People are people are having a hard time with their artwork if, uh, if they don't get likes on it. Um, nobody shares it or if um, they don't sell it. Um, and what I tell them... Um, don't don't get discouraged don't stop you know what you're doing maybe either what, what you want to do is maybe change up your execution how you're doing it maybe your your subject maybe the medium you know um, and if you really want to test it and this is kind of one of those things where you're like I don't know if I want to do that because then I'll be crushed um, but take take a couple pieces of artwork that you will be fine with losing um, and go put them either out by the trash cans by a you know in a hallway if you live in an apartment complex and just put a sign that says free you know so people know that they can take them um, but we have a we have a door like a trash chute and a recycle bin and we just put all the stuff that we're just just trying to get rid of out there and then when we come back a couple couple hours later, some of it's gone. And I'm telling you, if somebody will take a piece of artwork from the garbage, somebody's gonna pay for it. You know, and if they don't take it, then take that as okay. I need to change That's something what I'm doing. Thing. You know, don't don't be hurt. You know, everybody starts out one way or another. You know, not, not everybody's good in the beginning. Yeah, exactly, Evelyn. <laughs> I always, I always tell people, um, if you're in a rut, if you're in a um, artist block, just doodle. Just get a big old pad of paper, and just doodle. Have like a pencil, a sharpie, a big fat marker, um, maybe some colored pencils, and just, just doodle. Even when you're just sitting watching TV, like. Just take it back to, you know, to when you first started, when you first really were like, this is all I want to do is draw. That's all I want to do. And it'll give you some kind of uh, a little inspiration. Like, you never know. Just keep all those doodles, you know, revisit them a week later and, and it'll spark something, you know. At least it'll keep you, keep your mind busy. Um, 
and, and use reference, man. There's Go to Pinterest. Go to Google Images. Use all the reference you want. Watch other people's YouTube channels. That's what I always do. I watch stuff that I know that I'm never going to do. Unless I get a forge. I'm never going to make a sword. But I watch at least four or five videos every day of somebody making a sword or some sort of knife or something. I love watching that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Virginia says, not everyone likes the same thing you do. Well, thank you, Valerie. I really appreciate that. Um, my dad, his birthday was the other day. Sent him a um, text message saying something um, just about him being, you know, a super big inspiration on my art world and my, you'll hear me say stepdad or daddy. It's my stepfather, um, but I just call him dad. Um, he just told me, I'm going to read this for you guys. Listen to this. This is from a man that is probably the most creative. Like, he does stuff that I have, like, I don't even understand how. How you even, how you even you know come up with it he does drawings he does paint he does sculptures he has he has in his backyard a seven foot tall bob wire sculpture and if you've ever tried to bend bob wire it's nearly impossible he has a sculpture of a man that he put clothes on and then he set it on fire and put it out and then he's got like a shovel in one hand and it's called the working man's burnout it is amazing. And he puts incense in it at the bottom of it so it smokes. So I, I sent him a birthday text. And he wrote back to me. And he's... He does... Like I said, he's... Like the artist's artist, you know. I remember in Dodge City, he, people would come to us to make, you know, anything. He would, be make, he would make people anything they wanted out of wood. Who did a lot of cut out of wood and painted it and stuff. But his, his response to me was, Thank you for the kind words. <clears throat> you and B, he wrote, he wrote a little B emoji, have given me a new method, have given me a new method fun tool, which is alcohol inks. He loves alcohol inks on uh, coasters and, and whatever he can find to put it on which have helped me, helped pull me out of my block. You have lifted my spirits. Love you, son. I'm like, what? He, uh, he, wor he worked. He's, he's retired now. He just retired uh, this year. Um, every day, like, at a job he hated. He did drafting. Like, he, he basically, they would say, all right, Dan, this is what you do. Take this apart, put it back together, show us how it works. And that's what he did on a computer. Every day. At a company that he hated. <clears throat> and he, you know. So I sent him this emoji. This gif. <laughs> I was like, I'm not crying, you're crying. Um... So yeah, I had no idea he was in a blog. But he loves, um, here I'm gonna show you this turtle that he, uh, that my mom sent me. He's 76 years old. He did this, I'm sure he did it with uh, the frisket, he cut out the frog and then put the alcohol ink down. It's kinda hard to see it. But he does stuff in like sections. Let me turn this down a little bit. Can you guys see that? It's kind of hard to see just because. That's his thing. He doesn't he doesn't put stuff together normally like it's like in sections. You should see his Aztec. The moon goddess he has in his house. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we we've uh, we sent him a bunch of stuff. Um, bunch of markers. And it's so funny because I remember when I was little, you know, when you're a little kid, you don't know how much artist supplies cost. You don't know what it takes to get them, you know. You don't know how to take care of them. I can't imagine how much stuff I destroyed of his, you know. Oh, well, Danny has some. I'm, I'm going to use his brushes. I'm going to use his paint. I'm going to use, you know, whatever. And it's like, now I can just kind of uh, give back, like try to replace that stuff. <laughs> yeah, the mermaid is awesome, right, y'all? This was from yesterday. Let me show you guys how blingy this is. It's pretty impressive. Like, I've never seen a glitter this glittery. And maybe just because it's just resin over it. But it's pretty amazing. hundred and fifty at Michael's? Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> That's like when you say, I'm just going to Walmart for one thing. Three hundred dollars later. Yeah. Three hundred dollars later you have some sort of bench that you have to put together um, probably a speaker because you think you need a speaker and a curved TV and a curved TV Is Vamp in the room? Oh, she is. Um, so this Vamp got me this shirt. It is a old uh, Adidas shirt, and it makes a smiley face. If you guys can't see that, <laughs> for my birthday, she got me this shirt and a Dead Mouse shirt, and then she got me that little. She made a little skull for me with little Dead Mouse ears on. It's pretty cool. Hi. Can you tell him how Austin used to draw on your sketchbooks? Oh, my son. Yeah. Well, he would he, he would just get frustrated when when my son was little. He would get my I have I still have them. I, they're in this box. But he would get a sketchbook, and he'd open it up, and he would just draw one line, and then scribble it, and then flip next page. One line, and then, like, and I think that he just wasn't doing, he just didn't think he was doing it right. <laughs> and I mean, it's just pages and pages. And then he started to get more comfortable drawing stuff, and he, he loved football. So he would draw football plays. And, like, half pipes, like skateboard half pipes and stuff. <laughs> Um, clear, there, um, these, a lot of these are 10 gram. We have 10, 20, and 50 in most. 10, 20, and 50 in most. Some of them I only have 10 and 20 grams. And y'all seen, I didn't use a lot when I did this. Um, granted, I did paint, um, I did paint the background so it does enhance it, but, um, I think you would really want to because you wouldn't want a whole white background. I think it would look completely different if you just did it on a white background. How are all your pets? Um, they're awesome. Cujo had a
play date today with the little girl dog. He ended up accidentally getting locked up. And it was his first time. And um, they got stuck. I was really surprised he knew what to do. Um, I was like, what? what? Look, like it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this lady brought over this little dog. She, her little dog, her little girl dog was in heat. And it was, Cujo was like, I'm all about that. Oh my God. And Bowie tried to get, do his thing. I'm like, Bowie, you don't, you don't even, we got him fixed a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, don't we need to pour water on him or something? Hot water? I don't know. I was just waiting for that sound. Ew. <laughs> Grand puppies. Yeah. Yeah, let's get those thumbs up. I just got a boy kitty. Looks like your girl cat. Oh, yeah. We had to get, like he uh, Pugsley really didn't do anything because we were holding him. Um, I guess you, I should tell you the backstory. Um, our friend brought her new puppy over. It was a little Shiba, Shiba Ina or little Shiba. Shiba Inu. He was a little puppy. I think he was just really hype, and Pugsley was not about that for some reason, and swat at him and his tail got big and he was kind of going after him so we had to separate him and I, I don't understand why you know because Bowie's really aggressive with them when they play and you know real hype so we just thought why would he you know figure he got along with those dogs or what else would matter so we had to separate him and then we were worried that he was going to do the same with this little dog today but that little dog looked more like our dogs and she wasn't going crazy you know so he didn't really do anything but we didn't let him go by her because we didn't want him we don't know how he would act I don't know I don't know what the deal was maybe they're just they're I mean because they grew up they grew up kittens with the boys so you would think that they would just know there's dogs in the world Maybe they just don't know that there's other dogs or, I don't know. And they're still kittens, you know, still six months, seven months old. They're just little big, big boys. Oh, and I watched my girl cat today pee on my clothes. Has anybody's cat done that? What? How? Um, Donna, it, it's not, but you can feel it a little bit. Um, let me see, this is, you can kind of see it, you see that? And that's not air, that's, that's actual glitter. Um, but if you uh, do a flood coat, maybe sand it, give it a quick sanding, knock that down a little bit, and then put a flood coat, I'm sure it'll be just fine. Yeah, we're taking the girl, the boy and the girl cat next week or so to get fixed hopefully that'll i can't believe she just did that like what 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 cat does i've never had a cat to do that and they have a nice big like automatic cleaning cat bathroom i don't know hopefully that stops when we go take them to get fixed spayed and neutered like old Price, what's his name? Price is right guy? <laughs> You're Gary? No. Um, yeah, it's just spray painted black. This uh, this stuff is it's like, it's little metal. You can hear that. Like it sounds different. This is, and it sinks. So, 
Um, just be aware of that. Yesterday, I, I'd mix it up and let it set, and I was going to pour some on the, on the coaster, and nothing but resin came out. So mix it before you pour it out. Make sure that it's all mixed up. Yeah, you have been claimed, E. E, better watch out. <laughs> Bob Barker. Yeah. Um, this this will probably need a flood coat because there is a couple pieces of glitter that are sticking up, but it's not um, it's not bad. You can kind of feel it because I put a lot of glitter in there in, in the resin, but um, this definitely will need a flood coat if somebody wants to buy that. It looks like stone coat countertops galaxy granite countertop formula but better. They have one of these? Mike called uh, Mike Quiz from Stone Coat called E yesterday and asked her how to do a, 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 a ocean pour. I think he wants to do one in his uh, in his place in Hawaii. All right, I'm out of here, guys, ladies and gents. Um, what we got here? I said bye. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, we sell all of it on our website. Go check it out, artiststilldeath.com. Um, we got all kinds of new cutouts, uh, new cradle boards. Um, we, we have uh, coasters, all that stuff. Um, and so, oh yeah, and we have a Pour With Us Volume 5 free live class um, on August 25th. Please buy your kits before the 20th. I think we have on the 19th is when we stop, so the 19th. <laughs> um, the kits are only $100 this month. Um, it's a geode, a cutout, a clear geode. Thank you, Trisha. Thanks, Clara. Go shop the site, Valerie. We appreciate that. Thank you, Virginia, Renee, Donna, Evelyn, Shane, Susan, Vamp. We are awesome. Thank you, Tara. Um, so yeah, and you just tune in at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time here in Dallas, um, and we will go from start to finish, all skill levels welcome, um, ages, we, we like to say 13 and up, um, because there is heat involved. Um, if you guys don't have a torch or a heat gun, we can, we can... That's an add-on to the kit, so just let us know uh, when you do order it if you need a heat gun. I'm sorry, a torch. Hi, Cujo. There's little Cujo. Look at him. He thinks he's a stud now. <laughs> you guys, he was huffing and a puffing. He was, he was out of it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Pour with us, Volume Five, August twenty fifth, eight p.m. Be there, or be a square. <laughs> be kind to one another because you never know what somebody's going through. You guys have an awesome Thursday night, and we will see you uh, tomorrow, Friday. Does that sound good? Sounds good. We might go live early tomorrow. Yeah. Depending on what we're doing. Bowie has a play date with uh, JB. Um, so yeah, you guys have an awesome rest of the night. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll I'll post the true color video so you guys can see that from my phone on uh, Artist Till No ATD's Poor People on Facebook. All right, Aloha. You guys have an awesome night. Bye. Bye.